This will be the slight difference for Yannick today is the flatter hit coming in from Medvedev if he can keep the length. It's just going to be at a slightly more awkward height. And that's Medvedev at his absolute best. And he's the first one to make the move in this final. Gets the break, 2-1. The first serve does simplify a lot of things for him. So impressive. certainly anticipated the right way but the drop shot was poor and Medvedev, yes. Medvedev would like to have this one back he just goes the wrong way here It's not just the Medvedev. coffee in Melbourne that's magic. It's also Medvedev. Breathtaking start. 6 3. Oh, he's come up with a good point when he absolutely needed to. Yes. You always need something a little unique in your game, and Yannick has that on that forehand side. He actually goes bigger down the line more often than not than he does go cross court over the low part of the net. The scope, the serve volley, but maybe it's body serve volley. I'd probably like to see a couple of kickers out wide too as a first serve. You know, just just heavy, one one six five, one sixty possibly, but heavy kickers as a first serve and slide it out wide to the forehand court, but slow it down. Yeah, just oh my goodness me. Another one that goes back in for Medvedev. All you could say right now, yes. weather the storm, because Medvedev is on a mission. He's playing every point well. And this is a mighty big game, a huge game in the context, I think, of this final. Hold on here, they're telling him.
and he has been absolutely perfect. And he continues to be so. Sinner being blindsided by the brilliance of Medvedev. He trails by a certain 4-1. Work, and surely that's what we're seeing tonight. Yeah, that's right. And you know, Petch, that feeling when you're on a court, you know, the, the, the thousand yard stare. Sinner hasn't quite got it yet, but you can guarantee his mind is racing. It's not point by point. He's just completely frazzled. He's not being allowed to play the way he would like to play. So the first thing he has to do is slow his mind down. And... Medvedev, however, looking to break again. Game Medvedev. And there was the change-up from Yannick Sinner. Medvedev's taken the crowd totally out of this. It, it, they're all in shock at the moment, I think. Set point number two. Game and second set, Medvedev. Six game to three. Well, he was flying for the most part in that second Medvedev set. He like ended up one. stumbling over the finishing line, but Medvedev in the end leads two sets to love here in Melbourne. volley you know to me that was a risky approach and he's dropped in a much quicker second serve that one at 163 now that is the beautiful thing about tennis And the balance he shows look he looks gangly he's tall he's he's a thin lithe build but when he gets in here his balance is magnificent go, and that enables him to have control over his racket face such a clever shot this is most magical 15 days here in Melbourne continues to deliver. What have they got in store for us next? Sinner takes the third. How good is his 
backhand across court and they did Wow. Spreading the court more. Remarkable 15 days gives us one final set. Yannick Sinner takes the fourth. final but it does take an awful lot of effort still emotionally to get yourself back into this situation there's a lot of external stuff for Yannick in the last sort of 48 hours as well emotionally getting through to this stage of Sensational. And the movement is just not quite there for Dano. Some shot. Daniel Medvedev, he, if he's struggling in one facet, he can turn to another. Beautifully. And that's...
New balls, please. No, and then you've got that uh, that dynamic where he's going cross. It's not a bad shot. I mean, he runs onto it. And this man's brave enough and good enough to go line. I mean, that's so hard to defend against. And the matchup is happening over and over. We've seen Sinner awfully good when he's set, but he's showing us too he's got power when he's on the run. But um, you were talking about a parliament of owls before. Well, this guy, Medvedev, he is the wise old owl. I just... fight isn't it one fight is on the ropes and the other fight is just loading up took him to a fifth and then ultimately into the final. We'll be hoping if he can hang on to his serve, there's some more of that around. Since he passed those years ago here at the Australian from Ricardo Piatti. 